Prince Harry snubbed by Buckingham Palace in awkward omission which doesn't seem right. Prince Harry's latest engagement is nowhere to be found in the court circular, Buckingham Palace's record of the official duties and events attended by members of the royal family. Dot. Prince Harry's latest engagement appeared to have been snubbed by Buckingham Palace. The omission was first noticed by amateur royal historian Keith Smith, who wrote on Twitter, Harry's event on Friday 28 halves with Bon Jovi is not in the court circular. One social media user asked whether this omission meant Prince Harry's engagement with the rock star is not considered an official royal event. M. Smith replied, Yes, which doesn't seem right to me as it was for Invictus. We may have a late entry, that will be available on Monday. Private engagements, events and visits not carried out on behalf of the Queen, are usually not listed in the court circular. Indeed, Friday's event was not carried out on behalf of the monarch. However it saw the Royal Rota, the press pool covering the British royal family, in attendance. Moreover, Buckingham Palace organized the event, according to news website Royal Central. The court circular has also registered previous events attended by Prince Harry in aid of his patronage. An entry dated September 11, 2019 read, The Duke of Sussex, patron, this morning attended the 15th annual BGC Charity Day in aid of the Invictus Games Foundation at BGC Partners, 1 Churchill Place, Canary Wharf, London E14. Another, dated September 10, 2019, read, the Duke of Sussex, patron, Invictus Games Foundation, this morning held a board meeting. Express.co.uk has contacted Buckingham Palace for comment. The court circular was established by King George III, whose reign lasted between 1801 and 1820, to list all of the official engagements carried out by royal families members for the benefit of the press. The Duke of Sussex met rock star John Bon Jovi yesterday at the iconic Abbey Road Studios in London to watch the Invictus Choir record a new version of Unbroken, one of the singer's most famous songs. The special single will be released in March to raise funds for the Invictus Games Foundation and support the upcoming Invictus Games 2020. Prince Harry founded Invictus in 2014 after visiting the Warrior Games in the U.S. in 2013. While the court circular has so far omitted the event from its records, the Queen marked the meeting between the Duke of Sussex and the rock star. During yesterday's changing of the guard, the band modified its traditional and solemn ceremony to play, in the courtyard of Buckingham Palace, one of Bon Jovi's most iconic songs, Living on a Prayer. A video showing the band playing the song was shared by the royal family's Instagram account, which represents the Queen and Prince Philip. The caption to the video read, Changing of the Guard at Buckingham Palace. During each ceremony the Queen's Guard hands over responsibility for protecting Buckingham Palace and St. James's Palace to the new guard. Today the band played a special medley of at Bon Jovi music to celebrate his collaboration with the Atwer and Vike Tuscums. This Instagram post was praised by many royal fans and perceived as a show of unity and support to her grandson's charitable work. One royal fan wrote in the comment section, doing their best to still show a united front and nodding at Harry's endeavors.